तो डियर स्टूडेंट टुडे वी विल डू द एक्सपेरिमेंट एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर वन दैट इज बॉट सैंपल एंड होल्ड सर्किट सो फॉर सैंपल एंड होल्ड सर्किट वी यूज द किट द नेम ऑफ द किट इज बॉट सैंपलिंग एंड रिकंस्ट्रक्टर ट्रेनर तो दिस इज द किट और सर्किट विच इज डू द सैंपलिंग एज वेल एज वॉट रिकंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ सैंपल सिग्नल सो हियर आर सीन बॉट फोर ब्लॉक्स राइट ब्लॉक नंबर वन ब्लॉक नंबर टू ब्लॉक नंबर थ्री ब्लॉक नंबर फोर and block number 4 contains two sub blocks so we will uh, first we will uh, see the functioning of uh, basic functioning of each block this is the uh, first block the name of the this block is what sampling frequency selection circuit so this block is uh, determines the sampling frequency the frequency at which the what signal is required to be sampled sampling rate the minimum sampling rate is determined by the nyquist sampling theorem as you have studied in theory and this circuit note that uh, note this point is what this circuit also determines the what the input signal the uh, sampling requires uh, two type of signals one is the input signal another is another is the what sampling pulse so so here the message signal how the message signal is generated here the 10 kilohertz distress signal passes through a board divided by 10 counter so the frequency of 10 kilohertz becomes after dividing by 10 is board by becomes 1 kilohertz and if the distress signal passes through a this periodic distress signal passes through a low pass filter so this low pass filter extract the what sinusoidal signal so at uh, output of this low pass filter we got the what message signal of 1 kilohertz so this is the Uh, port uh, at which we are taking the what input signal that input signal giving to the input of the sample and hold circuit now we come to the second block uh, students now further uh, uh, see this uh, we have to uh, select the what sampling frequency so what you are seeing is what this is about uh, sampling frequency selector so by this you can change the frequency uh, uh, sampling frequency so uh, the led glows as what at 80 kilohertz and with that that means the what sampling frequency is what selected as what 80 kilohertz so by this uh, sampling frequency selector you can change the sampling frequency or sam this output of this sampling frequency is going to the what this duty cycle control circuit so this circuit do not change the frequency but it changes the what duty cycle or duty cycle is defined as what t on upon total time period so or you can say t on t on upon t on plus t off so if the t on is 50% that means t off is also 50% the duty cycle is 50% so in this experiment we will choose the duty cycle is what 50% yeah 50% means t on t on is 50% and t off is what 50% so symmetrical pulse you can say what duty cycle 50% means symmetrical pulse so student now this third block is what sampling circuit this circuit do the what uh, sampling of the input signal so the sampling requires two input signal well two signals one is about input signal or message signal or modulating signal which is uh, this signal you can you you are seeing here this signal is given from the output of the sampling frequency selection circuit to the input of this sampling circuit so this is 1 kilohertz uh, modulating or uh, message signal or input signal which is required to be sampled sampled now another signal uh, or sampling pulse train that is required to be input this circuit so in this kit there is a provision you can use the about external sampling pulse input or internal uh, sampling pulse input so a uh, switch is a switch is given here if you toggle this switch towards left side then that then that case it selects the external sampling pulse input if you toggle this switch towards right side then uh, internal input sampling pulse is chosen so uh, the internal input uh, input pulse is coming from the output of this duty duty cycle control circuit so output of the duty uh, duty cycle control circuit is given as the what uh, input sampling pulse input so we have uh, toggle this switch to what uh, right side internal side so now we have given the what both the inputs one is the input signal another is the what uh, sampling uh, pulse uh, signal so if you want to check at this uh, test point you can check the what this test point is what uh, 
So see this now. See at the CRO. This is what your sampling input, sampling pulse input. This is about square pulse of uh, duty cycle was what what fifty percent. Duty cycle is fifty percent because T on and T off are approximately fifty percent. Right now, we check the uh, input signal on the CRO. So this is our input signal. So see this. Look at CRO. So this is the input signal or message signal. This signal is required to be sampled. This is about sinusoidal signal of uh, one kilohertz, right? One kilohertz. You are seeing the frequency is what uh, one kilohertz. It is fluctuating somewhere some around one kilohertz, but the frequency is what around one kilohertz. Circuit is divided in what two part. Upper part is uh, uh, do the what natural sampling. Lower part do the what actually sample and hold sampling. Here both the uh, natural sampling and uh, sample and hold sampling is given so that you can compare both the outp outputs how the sample and hold output is different from the what natural sampling so these are the what amplifiers the triangle symbols are amplifiers and these are the what switches this switch is the frequency of this switch is controlled by the what this sampling pulse input signal which is coming from duty cycle control circuit output so now we see that how the so this is the output of uh, natural sampling. We will see the what natural sampling, how the natural sampling looks. So see students at the CRO. So this is what natural sampling. Uh, why the, this is called natural sampling? Because sampled output has the same shape as the what input signal, right? Uh, it is of, it is remains of. Uh, during the off period it, it becomes zero but during the on period it has the same shape as that what or input signal Malab, this is very looks like a what sinusoidal uh, shape at the on time period Other, otherwise at the off time period its output is zero so it has the same shape at the on uh, at the on time or at the sample time as that of input right so this is called what natural natural sampling natural sampling retains the same shape as that of what Validating signal. It is sampled because it is sampled because it has certain uh, sample, but uh, off time there is no sample. But the shape of the sample, the shape of the sample is same as that of what original input signal. That is what sinusoidal. So this is what natural sampling. Now we see this kit. There are another output is given about sample and hold. Here is sample and hold circuit. So here we giving the about sample and hold. So now see this. We have changed the changed the output to the what sample and hold. So what the dif what difference you are uh, noting here uh, that the value of the sample sample uh, value of the sample voltage held constant until the occurrence of next sample. The sample and hold is also known as flat top sampling because. The value of the sample is held constant until the occurrence of next sample. So you are able to observe the clear difference between the natural sampling and sample and hold. So dear student, now we do the what reconstruction uh, of this sampled signal. That means we want to extract the what original message signal from the sampled signal. So for this, uh, this uh, uh, low pass filter uh, uh, blocks are given. This is second order low pass filter and uh, this is what fourth order low pass filter. Second order, fourth order low pass filter uh, extract more smooth output than the what second order low pass filter naturally. So we have used the what fourth order low pass filter. So first we have connected the what sample and hold output to the input of this low pass filter and at the output of this low pass filter we observe the what uh, uh, reconstructed or demodulated in a uh, input signal uh, uh, at the output of this fourth order low pass filter we observe the word reconstructed uh, uh, signal or that reconstructed signal should be looks like a original message that is sinusoidal signal so see here uh, so i have uh, so see here uh, here we are observing the word uh, sam sample and hold uh, signal at the uh, cro so this is the what sample and hold uh, signal 
which is given to the input of this fourth order low pass filter fourth order low pass filter is here is working as a what uh, detects detector circuit reconstruction circuit or what demodulator circuit then i am connecting the what now see i am connecting uh, connecting to the what probe uh, to the what output of this uh, low pass filter so now see this is what output of this low pass filter which is very similar to the what your original message signal the frequency of the original message signal is what 1 kilohertz or uh, this frequency is also 1 kilohertz the signal is what very faithfully reconstructed from the sample and hold circuit 